aircraft, air ca- aircraft carrier for the flight. I also have learned that around the world, the satellites launched are a business with very good profit and a good market. Also, many of the research centers need to launch the satellites. Before that, Motorola, cell phone companies like Motorola have their tasks and they need to buy the satellites so that the uh, telecommunication devices may be better connected. But around the world, though the uh, optic has a very good coverage, but it only covers one half of the area. So when there are more satellites on the sky, our telecommunications become better. So this is a good profit. Several days ago, on the plane, we can we have access to Wi-Fi. I have experienced that. In some airlines, you can access the Wi-Fi. But actually, we achieve this through satellites. And there are rods on the satellites. The antenna of the satellites can connect you to the uh, areas that you need to connect. So in the future, many of the companies and institutions need have the need, have the demand to send the signal to the sky, to the satellite. So this is a big profit for you. So also, this is what we should do in our satellite uh, strategy. And next, this is the service we need to provide to the uh, end users. Now, launching a satellite, how much does it cost? This is another question. In foreign countries, it's about 100,000 US dollars. There are many professional netizens. Uh, you're very pro- ne- professional. Several days ago, a rocket in New Zealand was launched successfully. It's about 4.5 million US dollars offering price. In our country, our competitive edge is more obvious. The domestic price is about 20,000 to 30,000 US dollars per ton, per kilograms. So how to secure the safety We may be concerned that the uh, our rockets are not as safe as the foreign countries. So in our industry, it means reliability. It depends on our design. Our cost depends on our integrated innovation. And also, we have a very good competitive advantage in manufacturing. We need to design to lower the cost. So this is the first question. As you are well prepared, we have a question to ask. Ask you, we know that the uh, only when the rockets have a uh, certain speed can it orbit around the Earth. I'd like to ask you a question. What is the speed for orbiting the first set universe speed? What is that? The first one who has the f- right answer will have will be known by our staff and will give you a gift. It is the rocket model. I think many of the netizens know this answer. This is the uh, um, secondary school physical knowledge, and this is a physical question. Later, we'll give you the right answer. I'll give you some time to think about it. So, what does it work for? What what's what's its function? I'd like to introduce you. Uh, this is the engineer of the general control. 
He's also a very good student from the uh, uh, China Air, a university famous for his aircraft. This is our preparation for the rocket for orbiting. So when it is operated, when the fuel has been exhausted, and it will it will cast its end rocket. You can see this cover during the flight. The uh, the core can be protected by its cover, and this is the functional structure. I will also have a test. The scale will mu be much larger than this. I would like to introduce you the test of separation s background. When he there are dead weight when the uh, burning is ended so we need to separate it uh, separate the rocket through the process of separating and we need to have more m many tests to ensure that the process is not problematic and this part when it was burned when it is burned and we need to cut Abandon it, and when he has reached us to a certain height, there are no air in the universe. Then the ferry also need to be abandoned. So we have uh, all have the movement of uh, car abandoning the uh, cover. So I will m monitor the whole process. Then there will be explosion. When it is exploded, the uh, dead weight will be separated. So inside, we, we can use the separation device to send it to the universe. If you do not separate it, the core cannot be sent to this universe. And there are so many netizens who have joined in our question and answering. So what is the first universe speed? The first one who answered has the wrong answer. And congratulations. Another one has the right answer. The first universe speed is at 7.9 kilometers per hour. If it has reached this kind this speed, it can reach to our stratosphere. Basically, we can see the small components of this rocket. Just now, the smart guy has introduced us the components. <laughs> but I don't know if you have understood it. If you have any question, you can send it online. We'll answer the question at the first time. If you have any questions, you may answer it. We will we'll give you the answer. And we have many tests, including the test driving of the engine. We can let you understand what the how can the rocket be functioned. This is for testing the uh, working conditions on the ground to ensure that when it is orbited, it is orbiting in the universe, it is reliable and secure. I'd like to tell you my experience. At that time, I was on the site. Before the launching, our colleagues are, have uh, several days, uh, d dozens of days of arduous preparation. And But on the site, we have invited our stakeholders, leaders from the guests, our customers. At that time, when the countdown begins, uh, the uh, it is very tight. Uh, the atmosphere is very tight. It's intense, and we will have a whole process of reporting and registering. Then, at last, we have achieved success. The, it is the result of our common effort. 
So can we see the launching of the engine again? This is for testing the uh, main engine. This is not let the uh, rocket to be launched to the sky. This is for the fixation of the rocket. But also you can test the conditions of the rocket. Though it has been fixed, we can still know its conditions, its functions. We have fixed it, fixed them. So this is the whole process of our preparation and before launching. Where did you do the test? This test run of the engine happened in Jiangxi, in the test field. So we have separated the rocket. The trial run of the engine have the three characteristics. First, we have spent only nine months. We have used the shortest time. The second, the brain of the rocket also have been through the test run. The weight is about 1.8 kilograms. The traditional electronic devices have a weight of about uh, several hundred kilograms. So this is to fix the rocket, and they, it has been it fixed the rocket on the ground, and this is to ensure the absolute safety of these products. We need to have the test run. So what we need to do? To have a direct look, this is the fuel stock, or whether the technology have been can endure the high temperature. For the more professional test, we need to have a very detailed statistical analysis. Also, I would like to ask a question from, uh, to the netizens, and please be prepared. And just one netizen said, when I had the question, and I, uh, he answered it immediately. So this time we'll get to it faster. A very simple question. This is a simple question. Those, who those of you who have the knowledge will answer it. How many launching bases do we have in our country? There are five, three, and four. This is a very r easy question. A netizen said, what kind of rewards can we have if we have the right answer? It will be the uh, Rocky model from the uh, research center, a very exquisite gift. It is me. Very good reward. Mm -hmm. And today, it's not only the technical team who is uh, here, and uh, the whole members of uh, the designing team are also present. But I, as I understand, uh, there is a very challenging work, such as. Uh, drawing up the technical drawings and the blueprint. I I have just uh, take a look, but it's uh, beyond my understanding. So let's move on to our comprehensive uh, lab or the central lab. The software prototype has been developed uh, here and uh, as I have said before, right at the very top, we have a control cabin. And inside that cabin, there is a central control machine. And uh, let me show you this machine. And I have uh, my colleague here. This Mrs. will give you a briefing. So good morning. So this is a control developed by my company. It's very light. It weighs only 1.8 kilogram. OK, let me adding a few more words. Here, like we've known before, 
Uh, we have uh, talked about the bottom of it, the main body, and now we are talking about the very top of it. At the top sits the brain or the control system of the rocket, and uh, this uh, CPU is now held by this lady. It's uh, such a small device. Yes, you're right. So this is the one that drives and uh, controls the whole rocket. You're right. It actually plays a central role in the human being's nervous system. And uh, it can coordinate, the, like in the human body, the eyes, the mouth, the mouth, the ears, and every sensual organs. And uh, this uh, device can replace the traditional rockets uh, in onboard uh, computer. It's a highly integrated device because uh, to make, uh, minimize uh, the weight of this device. And it's uh, different from the few device. Uh, you, you can hold it. As I can say that uh, you are so young. Yes, I was born after the 1990. I graduated from uh, Xiamen University. I majored in aerospace. I used to be in the business of um, driverless drone. As I can see, you have such a big pool of young talents. You're right. And they are also very professional in explaining these devices. It's very expensive. I have to remind you, it costs more than 100,000 RMB. It, it costs even more than a BMW. And all the orders that that's sent to the rocket is received by this uh, rock, uh, device. It it weighs 1.8 kilogram and it costs more than more than a luxury BMW model. And for this drawing, uh, this is this is the drawing for the so uh, hardware design. Uh, more than 2,000 designing routes can be found here. And this is the central CPU where it's located. It's like this. The, the human bodies and uh, the different organs are all integrated in the brain. So this is uh, a processing center, and as I, I have indicated to you. And in, inside this lab, so this is the testing model. Yes, you're right. It's uh, like uh, the current situation of uh, the rocky are sent back to the ground control center in uh, real time. And uh, the team on the ground receive the data through this system and have uh, a clear idea of how the rocket is off operating in the space. So those are the parameters sent from the rocket in real time. Yes, you're right. So th is this rocket recyclable? Yes. That's our ultimate goal. OK, thank you. Thank you very much. So you ha your, your colleagues are so young. You're right. OK, we have so many netizens were making comments. And uh, the answer we have, the question we have uh, just asked has been correctly answered by some of the netizens. The there are four launching centers. One is Jiuquan, Xichang, Taiyuan, and Wenchang. Those are the four major launching centers in China. So, so we will not Enter this one. This is a super compute, super calculation center. All the control system you have seen, including the experience, the appear, including even the experience designing. So we all need the numerous calculations uh, to make the preliminary design. So we will we will skip this room. Okay, let's go upstairs. So upstairs are the departments involved in designing in the different parts of a rocket. We have uh, a netizen who 
who said that he tried to answer the question and uh, sent his um, email to the email box, but it but it was uh, sent back. So please mind your steps. Because we are a young team, and uh, that means we are a, a dynamic and a robust team. Downstairs is a shoe. Downstairs is a showcase showcasing the whole rocket body and the, its main control system. Upstairs, uh, please introduce yourself. Yes, I was born in the 1993. I joined the One Space not long ago. Let me talk a little bit about the automatic control system. No matter the main engine or the other parts of the rocket, like from um, Hunan to Beijing, I, I'd, I'd like to take a flight. But if um, they, uh, if the pl if the plane can send you from Hunan province to Beijing, but you want to be in a more precise location, like the One Space Company. But the conventional plane is not uh, capable in doing that. But uh, what one place can do is that to delivering to your you to our targeted position. So this system is used for controlling the posture of uh, the rocket, and uh, this is the air air column or uh, air um, container. And it's uh, connected to. It's uh, connected uh, by the different uh, valves to the rocket. And uh, I have to say that this is the whole set of uh, the posture adopting control system. For one space, uh, we have uh, developed our, our own system, and uh, including the testing platform and uh, this is testing step floor platform is uh, um, predominantly featured by this device as you can see here it has the sim similar function of uh, the missiles and uh, this can be used to uh, moderate the posture of the rocket like you like a um, diving athlete and like uh, the very famous female uh, diver Guo Jingjing, and uh, when she is uh, standing on the jumping platform, and she needs her brain to moderate how to do the jumping, and uh, this system does does the same job. Okay, let me actually show you how this uh, system works. Like in the movie, uh, we have uh, seen many. Uh, spring devices like this one, the fire spring devices. That's to ensure the rocket is uh, operating and orbiting on the right orbit. Yes, last night at uh, 3 a.m., we finished the testing of this device. But we haven't. Um, produced the video yet, so I cannot show you. So there are four pouring or spring devices like this one to ensure the posture of the rocket is in the right way. And um, so the intensity of uh, the air spread by this device is di different in accordance with the actual need. So thank you very much. A very vivid description. So we will move on to our next stop. So, so I I was I'm really amazed by their young age. The next one is the Wind dynamics system uh, testing. Let me give you a brief introduction. 
So for this dynamics assisting, uh, the first and second stage of the propellant testing has been conducted recently. For this testing, we try to test uh, the first stage and the second stage of uh, the rocket. The background is this. Let me help you out in this way. It means that for any flying vehicle, in any flight vehicle, we need to ensure it has a, a sound um, appearance, outer appearance. Like when you go to a swimming pool, if you swim, you want to make sure you swim in a good posture uh, to minimize any possible resistance you can in encounter in the water. And uh, similarly, and uh, when we launch the rocket, we also need to minimize the resistance, the wind resistance the rocket will experience in the space. And uh, the testing is that we try to uh, imitate a uh, testing. And uh, we attach our device into uh, the wind resistance the detecting device into the rock onto the rocket and uh, as we can see here from the top to from the right hand to the left side the wind has uh, proved to be quite stable and uh, it has uh, produced abundance of the data and uh, those are so it shows that the six mach is the speed, the, is the wind speed that the rocket has experienced. And in the China, in China aerodynamics dynamics testing lab, uh, we have uh, successfully conducted this uh, testing. So we have the third question. The third, you are really a good introducer, so please ask the question. Okay. So the question is, please speak louder. The first China uh, artificial satellite Dongfang Hong first is uh, produced in 1976-1972-1969. So in which year China's first artificial satellite has been produced? That's the Dongfang Hong. Okay, we will announce the answer later on. Thank you. Have you heard it clearly? So that this question is for the first Chinese artificial Earth satellite Dongfang Hong. Uh, in which year it was uh, produced? There are three answers for your option. First one, 1969, 1970, and uh, 1972. So uh, the first uh, netizen who gave us a right answer will be rewarded with uh, a rocky motor from, the com from one space. So let's move on to the next uh, stop. So we have uh, finished the engine, the control system, and next the one we will go to the skeleton of the rocket. So this is the structural department. We have uh, a colleague who would introduce this. So this is um, a department in charge of uh, designing the structure of uh, the rocket. So I have uh, my. I would like to hand over to my colleague to talk to you. So. This is uh, the one one space we have uh, successfully built our solid fuel rocket, the first uh, stage. And uh, we have uh, designed the rockets into the, the fuel container in into several sections. And at the bottom, let's take a closer look. And uh, since I have said at the very top, we have uh, uh, main central control system and which serves as the human being's brain. And uh, 
down that lower than that, we have an integrated uh, control system. As you please have a look where this is, where this lies. It seems that it's in the green cover. It's in this place. It's very small. It is a very clear three-dimensional model chart. You c where you can see the inner design of the rocket. We ourselves have designed this. It has many wires. It is the control system of this rocket and there are many wires, neural systems. You can see the signals are sent from this system and in the, in March the second it has finished the test and this is the tail part. And it is the skeleton. At the tail part we have the control system. The big one is the uh, air dock and then the fuel dock. The colors are different. We know that when the rocket is launched, there will be a, a thermal stream from it. This is the uh, screening plate for protection. The air dock is used to adjust the uh, gesture of the rocket. You can have a look. This rocket will be, we have the test, and the test will be finished in June this year. It is very late for the snow to come in Beijing, but our first flight will not be delayed. Thank you. Just now we have heard this engineer, young engineer, who is responsible for the structural design, but later I would like to give you the answer of that question. First, and the Dong Fan Hong number one, when it is launched in the answer is 1970. Many of you have the right answer. Our terminal, our client, uh, many of you can uh, join in our question answering part, uh, part in our uh, terminals and our client. 2018, September the 1st, in Jiuquan Satellite Launching Center, which rocket has sent six satellites? One, Changzhen first, second, March, Long March, the, the number two and third, Long March number three. In this company, we have known that the, uh, apart from the uh, rocket subject to the test flight, they have also developed another rocket. Uh, this is the small rocket for, and I'd like to introduce you the parent meters. It has 18 meters. 27 kilograms. The biggest diameter is 1.2 meters. The carrying capacity is 100 kilograms. The effective uh, carrying core, yeah, indeed, uh, it has used the uh, fixed four-level, uh, four-layer rocket launching device. Apart from the uh, rocket engine, it also includes first layer, second layer, and third layer tail part. I would like to introduce you this. Uh, the second and first layer tail part have the air dock to adjust this gesture when it is in the orbit. The second is about 0 0.85 meters. It is connected to the 
fourth layer engine, then the control cabin. It is in located inside the rocket. We can see that the uh, layout is very complicated. There are many electronic devices and automatic control system in order to improve the carrying capacity we have uh, optimized it we can see that the uh, structure is complicated it is the brain of the rocket and the last part is the fairing and we have used the advantages of high strength and high flexibility. This is the basic conditions of the rocket. So can he carry the satellite to be sent to the sky, right? There are four small satellites. So this rocket can carry four small satellites as long as it has. It, met, it meets uh, the requirements of weight. It can also carry multiple satellites. There are four joints of satellites, and how are they designed? I'd like to introduce you. In order to reach the first universal speed, of, so our measure is to when when the layer one fuel is exhausted. The layer one will be separated and will abandon the dead weight. Only through this design can you reach the first universal speed of 7.9 kilometers per hour. So this is our design. Will be separated in different phases. Yes, in different phases. When you reach to a certain height, it will be separated. It will have multiple separation. The first layer. In, in the first layer, you can see this is in this part. This is the first layer separation device, and this another joint. And there are about four times of separations. Thank you. Thank you so much. And we. I was used to be in the uh, Airbus. So you have to be in the higher position, right? Thank you, thank you so much. Just now, our mobile terminals, the netizens have joined in our question answering part. Just now, I have answered the question of when it is, when is Dong Fang Hong number one launched? Um, the netizen with the name of ASEAN and netizens from the uh, uh, mobile and have joined in our question answer, and he, ha and he has the answer. And can you have raise one question? The second but last question. The question is: Apollo number eleven. First, carry the man to the satellite to the lunar when it is launched. B, uh, 1969. Uh, A, number uh, 1959, and C, 1979. So, this is. I want to have you to remember the knowledge about the uh, aeronautics and astronomy, astronauts. So, just now, there are so many. Engineers who have answered have introduced us. Our company is a second level protection company. It is our we have our defining team for the confidential scope. Just now what we have introduced are not confidential. As for the confidential contents uh, they should be hided according to our laws and regulations. They are the uh, commercial secrets. They are not the national, the state secrets. So, in order to have better interaction, we have disposed some part of the confidential contents. Last.
The last question. The gift will be a coupon for a for uh, the, the research center. The coupon for the aerospace town. So the question is like this. When we ask the question, you may also actively uh, answer the it. Answer them now. At the same time, if you have any questions to ask this research company and or I will have the uh, answer for you. This is a uh, much difficult The first commercial uh, solid launching in a machine when it is launched. The first uh, December the 22 and November the 22 and n October the 22. And you may search it on the internet. It seems that you have to think for a while. There are multiple answers. Just now, the answers of the time of Apollo. I know your answer is wrong. It's 1969. Apollo <laughs> carried the man to the moon. Today, we not only let you see the rockets, what are they look like? Also, we have also tell you its inner structure. But at last, if you have any question for the military fans or rocket fans, we will answer your question. Are you afraid of competitors? Currently, the country developed the commercial airspace. We are not afraid of competitors. As a company, we need to improve people's lives. It is different from the traditional industries. We have to positively face the competition, welcome all players to have startups in this, in the commercial airspace. Many of the many of the uh, uh, segments in our industry ha are on its starting stage, and we need more players to make it prosperous. So this is what we want to see. This is also what we want to do for our country and for the industry. Some netizens also asked. This year we'll have the set two flight plans. The first is X rocket, the second M rocket. What will they send to the sky? We have two types of products. The S product will be we have the test flight in June. The ultra flight carrier will have a test. It means that the, that the aircraft will be brought to the sky so that we can collect the data. Additionally, we will carry some other products so that we can collect also collect their data from the sky. We plan at the end of this year and beginning of the next year, we'll have the M7. M means mini. For the large rockets, M means micro. So we will have small rockets to be launched. And and uh, we have uh, more questions coming. And uh, one that is in has uh, asked about the timing of the launch. And uh, there are also other questions like, uh, looking forward, we do have a plan to recycle the rockets, like the space exit. Um, they can recycle their rocket. So would you think about uh, recycling 
your rockets? This is a good question. Um, at for rockets, we are eyeing for some uh, highly sophisticated launching activities, but f but to take rocket as a uh, transportation means, we want it to be faster, better, and uh, go higher. And uh, like our foreign counterparts, they have the capacity to send both uh, commodities as well as uh, human beings into the air, into the space. But they are also capable of uh, bringing them back. So it's like in the transportation industry, transporti transportation objects or human beings from uh, point A to point B and uh, then back to point A. So Rocky has the similar function as the air fly uh, cargo transportation, but we believe we are faster and uh, safer. And uh, like uh, Space uh, Access has said, from New York to Shanghai, the Rocky will take about 29 minutes. But for us, we will never miss such a historical trend. And uh, this year, we will initiate our solid fuel engine recycle program and uh, we will put them to the testing uh, in the very near future so let me tell you let who is the winner for the apollo question whose uh code name is uh, where i am and for the last question the name of the netizen who got the right answer is uh let me give you a reminder um, please leave your contact information to the email box we have uh, displayed on the screen. And uh, do remember to leave us with your contact information. And uh, you, you, you will receive a, mo a Rocky model from one space. Uh, for the last uh, netizen, uh, Zheng Se, you will have the honor to join us in observing the launch of the rocket. Uh, are you involved in building the National Space Station project? Um, I do not think we are capable enough to engage in that project. But for China, uh, in year 2020, uh, we will finish building our own space station. And for one space, uh, we hope to make our contribution and uh, render our service to the building of that space station. But that all depends on the efforts as well as the capacity of um, the one space team. But we do look forward to that day. Thank you very much. So thank you very uh, for being with us for more than one hour. And uh, it's a really informative trip. And after touring this uh, company, we have um, get a better idea of uh, how the rocket is composed of and uh, what are the different systems supporting its uh, launch. And we also have uh, netizens who are very active in answering the questions and who have also expressed their wishes to observe the launching on site. And uh, as I can see, uh, um, we have uh, the private sector companies developing, designing um, the, sp uh, the rockets and uh, how the rockets will look like in the future and uh, what new technologies will be applied to rocket. Uh, let's, t let's take a look and uh, wait to see. So thank you. Um, thank you all the netizens who are with us and uh, we will bring you more reports that may come later on. Thank you.